when the Cincinnati Reds took the field for the first time in the 2019 season, Jossiel Puig was the first player out of the dugout, sprinting to his spot in right field. Puig took a moment to acknowledge the cheering fans, raising his right arm to wave and touch the bill of his cap. During pre-game introductions at Great American Ballpark, fans yelled out his name, Puig, he's going to bring us a very distinct energy on the field, first baseman Joey Votto said of Puig. He plays the game incredibly hard. I know that can be a throwaway line, but he does play the game in such a way that it's motivating as a teammate. And you may hate him on the other side just because he does play in such a way that he's coming to get you. Thursday's season opener was Puig's first game in Cincinnati, but he's dreamed about his fresh start since he was traded to the Reds in December. He wore Reds gear all offseason. When he was looking at houses in January, he made it a media blitz, visiting the ballpark, the mayor's office and the Reds Urban Youth Academy. In spring training, he had a .348 batting average and 46 at-bats with 4 doubles, 4 homers and 14 RBI. I think he feels as though this is his opportunity to play free baseball and to play at his very, very best. Fado said. I think he feels as though he's in his athletic prime, baseball prime. I think we are going to see the very best version of him this year, we'll try to keep up with him, one of the most popular baseball players on social media, Puig carries that same energy with him each day. He will be a free agent following the 2019 season and he's openly talked about how he needs to play well to receive a bigger contract, he's a ball of energy, that's for sure, outfielder Scott Schebler said. He's infectious with it, too. I think he really gets the guys going in the clubhouse. You guys see it. He always has a smile on his face, always full of energy. Great for the team. Great for the city. Great for the fans. Reds fan, subscribe today to get unlimited access to all of Cincinnati.com and the Inquirer's coverage of the ball club. Thank you. You're almost signed up for Bengals Beat. Keep an eye out for an email to confirm your newsletter registration. More newsletter stake the games with you. Download the Cincinnati.com app at the Apple App Store or Google Play for Android users. Jeanette on crutches, sidelined for at least the next two months with a right groin strain. Scooter Jeanette arrived at GABP for the pre-game introductions. Using crutches to move up the dugout stairs, Jeanette received a loud ovation. After taking a few steps with crutches on the field, Jeanette tossed his crutches to the side and walked slowly toward the first baseline to stand among his teammates. Obviously, losing Scooter in our lineup really hurts, catcher Tucker Barnhart said. He's a threat to damage just about any time he's at the plate, coming off an all-star season. He's in our clubhouse today. He's in constant contact with all the guys. As far as a chemistry standpoint, I don't think it's going to hurt as much as it's going to hurt in our lineup. Live updates Opening day live updates from the Cincinnati Reds game against the Pittsburgh Pirates Notebook, Reds Opening Day, 2019, Shebler happy to win the center field. Job feels for Nick Senzel interview with the commish MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred at Cincinnati Reds Opening Day, this is some spectacle Finnegan DFA'd, the Reds claimed right-handed pitcher Jose Lopez off waivers Thursday and designated lefty Brandon Finnegan for assignment to make room on the 40-man roster. Within the next week, Finnegan will be traded or placed on waivers. If he clears waivers, he can be sent to the minor leagues. It's a big fall for Finnegan, who had a 3.91 era and 31 starts with the Reds in 2016. He made a combined 9 starts in the last two years. In five innings this spring, he allowed 11 earned runs on 9 with 6 walks and 8 strikeouts. He was cut from big league camp on March 18. The Reds designated Lopez for assignment in February when they added lefty reliever Zach Duke to the 40-man roster and he was claimed by the San Francisco Giants. He was DFA'd for the second time this spring Sunday. Lopez, 25, posted a 4.47 era in 26 starts at AAA Louisville last season. Minor League Moves In the last two weeks, the Reds released several minor leaguers, including pitchers Anthony Bass and Tim Edelman, catcher Stuart Turner and outfielder Mason Williams. 
Fast 31, was competing for a 25-man roster spot in the bullpen but was cut last weekend. He had an opt-out date in his contract where he could request his release if he didn't make the team. During spring training, he allowed four earned runs on seven hits in ten and two-thirds innings, striking out eight and walking three. Adelman spent last season in the Korean Baseball League. He made 43 appearances with the Reds in 2016 and 17, posting a 4.97 era in 192 innings. The Reds selected Turner with a Rule 5 pick in 2016. He had 11 hits in 82 at-bats.134 batting average with two homers and seven RBI. Williams played in 51 games with the Reds last year, recording a .293 batting average in 123 at-bats. He had two homers and six RBI. He received an invitation to big league camp, but he was among the cuts on March 12. The Reds will trade minor league first baseman Jordan Patterson, another player cut March 12, to the Toronto Blue Jays, pending a physical, according to Sportsnet Canada.